is Herman Brooks. Herman is just like the rest of us. Every day, he has to make all kinds of decisions. Like what to wear, whom to date, and when to panic. Now, these decisions should be easy. But if you take a look inside Herman's head, you'll see why he sometimes has trouble making up his mind. I'm Herman's intellect. Without me, he couldn't hold his job, pay his rent, or tie his shoes. I'm Herman's sensitivity. Without me, he wouldn't feel tenderness, honesty, or love. The good things in life. I'm Herman's anxiety, and I keep him out of trouble. And believe me, there's trouble everywhere. I'm Herman's lust. Without me, he'd miss out on all the good stuff. You know, fun, food, babes. Sometimes they agree. Usually they don't. But this struggle is going on inside all of us. And it's all going on inside Herman's head. Oh, Brad, you don't mean that. You're just saying that. You can't possibly like me that much. Oh, you're not going to jump. <laughs> Look, Brad. Hello? Hello? Eddie, it's Phil on line two. Oh, Phil! Phil, how are you? Eddie, it's Carl. Carl? He's a loser. Blow him off. Eddie, Herman, get in here. Louise is on her way up. Look, um, Carl, you, you sound like a pretty nice guy. Let me give you a bit of advice. There is one thing you can send that will really win her over. It's cheese. Yeah, lots and lots of cheese. Hey, and, ju and just when you think you've sent her too much, send her some more. Hi, Herman. Oh, Louise, uh, Mr. Bracken needed to see you as soon as you got back. What's the matter? I don't know, but he seemed really upset. Surprise! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! I'll see what's the matter. Louise, Louise, you all right? All right! I'm 25, Herman, 25! <laughs> Louise, I'm 25. But you're not a, you know. A woman? No, no, I mean, you've already lost your... Luggage? <laughs> Herman, what I'm trying to say is you've already had... S sandwiches. <laughs> yes, Herman, that's it. I'm upset because you've had sandwiches and I haven't. <laughs> what, Louise? I'm upset because I'm 25 and I'm still a virgin. I thought you wanted to save yourself for the right guy. Of course I did, but that's because I thought I'd find the right guy before I reached my mid-twenties, and now I'm starting to think maybe I'm making a mistake. What if I get hit by a truck tomorrow? Then I'll die without ever knowing what sex is like. Actually, when done properly, it's a lot like getting hit by a truck. <laughs> I have the urge, Herman. You do? The urge to merge. <laughs> Hey, what's going on here? Oh, Louise is just having a little personal problem. Well, whenever I'm having a personal problem, I find it's always helpful to bring that problem to a beautiful woman and try to parlay it into a sympathy boink. Thank you, Jay. Now I have a personal problem, and I feel really, really dirty. Everything all right out here? Uh, Louise is having a personal problem. Personal problem, huh? Step in here a minute, please. Not you. <laughs> Listen up, people. My wife tells me every time one of our daughters has a personal problem, they go to her. I'm not involved enough. Well, I think the same thing goes for this office. So, from now on, when you have a personal problem, come to me. Louise, you have a problem. Step into my office, please. Uh, what do you know? My problem's all gone. Louise, step into my office. So, what seems to be the problem? Well, I'm 25 years old, and I've decided it's time to lose my virginity. <laughs> Louise, you have any other problems? Nope, just this sex thing. Well, with the economy the way it is, aren't you having financial problems? <laughs> no, I just need to know, should I do it, Mr. Bracken? Should I let some man ravage my body? <laughs> That settles it. I'm giving you a raise. <laughs> Glad I could be of help. Off 
cheese. I think you're looking for Hetty. From Carl with love. Oh, he sent me cheese. How sweet. Carl. <laughs> She said if she ever even so much as caught sight of me again, she'd hit me. That's pretty rough. Tell me about it. <laughs> she wasn't kidding, huh? What? Oh, no, no, no. That wasn't her. <laughs> the thing I don't get is she really seemed to like me there for a while. <laughs> her? No. <laughs> it was her sister, though. You slept with her sister, too? Yes, but sequentially, Herm, not simultaneously. <laughs> Excuse me a minute, Jay. Hi, Herman. Hey. What are you doing? Oh, the usual, just sitting over there watching Jay get slapped. <laughs> Sounds like fun, but I gotta go find myself a man at the moment. You mean you're gonna do it? That's right, Herman. No more waiting for Mr. Wright. Time to settle for Mr. Not So Bad. <laughs> so, what, are you just gonna pick up some guy? No, Herman. I'm gonna try and find a nice guy, and I will get to know him. Excuse me. Would you like to buy me a drink, take a blood test, and deflower me? No, no, and yes. Great, I'll get back to you. Louise, I think you're going about this the wrong way. I mean, if you think you're ready to have sex, I can't argue with that, but you should still do it with someone special. Oh, I see what you're getting at. Good. So when can we do it? <laughs> oh, you mean you weren't suggesting I do it with you? Not really. Oh, but you're right. It's perfect. It should be like that. It should be with someone special, someone I care about, someone who will be gentle and understanding. And you're all those things. Well, thank you, but I'm also your friend. And I, see, I'm afraid if we have sex, it will ruin our friendship. Why are you that bad? <laughs> no, Louise. You know, it's just that sex changes things between people. Well, will you at least think about it? Yeah, okay. I'll think about it. Good. And in the meantime, I'll go scout out the bar for backup. This is exciting. <laughs> I think this would be a nice thing. I think we should sleep with Louise. Of course we should sleep with Louise. It goes without saying. Why wouldn't we sleep with Louise? <laughs> Which one is Louise again? <laughs> would you please focus? Oh, all right, all right. All right, right. Louise, Louise. What do we want to do with her? <laughs> Sleep with her. Oh, we can't sleep with her. Sex is a filthy and disgusting thing. We should do it with a filthy and disgusting woman. <laughs> hey, you want a beer? Sure. Two beers. Oh, boy. <laughs> her mother. <laughs> yeah, but sequentially, her. Sequentially. <laughs> Would you sleep with her grandmother, too? All right, they'll be ridiculous. Woman lives in Florida. Herman, you wouldn't believe how difficult it is to find a... Jay! Of course! Jay! Why didn't I think of it? Can I ask you a question, Jay? Sure, what's up? Never mind, I'm not that desperate yet. Boy, about a nickel for every time I heard that. So, Herman, have you decided whether or not to despoil me? I can't, Louise. We're friends. I just don't think it would be good for our friendship. All right, then. Maybe I'll do it with that guy over there with the ponytail. Louise, that's a woman. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. <laughs> well, how about those two guys whispering to each other? Um, I think those guys are gay, and I'm pretty sure they're not whispering to each other. <laughs> Boy, I am glad you're here. <laughs> I guess it's gonna have to be Lyle. I just met him, but he seems very nice. Well, which one is Lyle? <laughs> Look what Louise is faced with. The world is full of uncaring, depraved, and dangerous men. We can't just abandon her to men like Lyle. I'm telling you, she's not my type, and I'm the one in charge of this particular bodily function. <laughs> Well, let her do it with someone else. I ain't interested. Fine, then we'll just have to do it without you. Well, I'd like to see you try. <laughs> well, Herman, I'll see you later. Yeah, Louise, don't do this with anyone else. I want to be the one. Thank you, Herman. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So when shall we do it? Well, uh, how about Tuesday night? Better make it Wednesday. Tuesday night's my virgin support group. I want to say goodbye to everyone. <laughs> Good morning, Louise. 
morning, honey. Something came for you. <laughs> I can't believe this. I've got cheese in my house. I've got cheese at the office. I haven't had to take a locker at the bus station. <laughs> the guy sent me a ton of cheese. Now, I'm not talking like I got a ton of work. I literally have 2,000 pounds of cheese. <laughs> and I hate cheese. Why don't you give it to the homeless? Because it's my cheese. <laughs> Good morning, all. Well, Herman, tonight's the night. Yes, it is. I'm very excited. So where are you taking me? Paris, Rome, Istanbul? Louise, we've got to be at work tomorrow. So what do you have planned? See? I told you we should have planned something. Oh, don't you understand? She wants it to be special. We clean the sheets. <laughs> no, we turn them over. <laughs> Same thing. Now, trust me, Louise, I've got it all planned. So what are we going to do? Dinner first? Yeah, dinner first. Where are you taking me? Trader Vic's 21? Uh, the Russian Tea Room? Well, I, I was thinking there's, there's a good falafel place on the corner. Which corner? Pretty much every corner. <laughs> Herman, I want this to be special. Well, do you know, you're right, Louise, and I promise you, this evening is going to be very special. Thank you, Herman. Thank you, thank you. Boy, what are you going to do, Herman? Sleep with her? <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Hey, this will be your first one, Louise. Yeah. Jay, can we continue this out there? <laughs> this is kind of a private thing going on. I'd rather you didn't say anything. No okay. problem. So where are you going to take your uh, four-star restaurant and a nice hotel? See, Herman, the first time should be special. What was your first time, Jay? Oh, my first time. I, I was a high school junior. She was an older woman, mature, experienced. And was it special? Oh, are you kidding? It was the best 15 bucks I ever spent. <laughs> what was your first time, Herman? Uh, all right, I'll tell you. I was drunk at a frat party. It's not a very long story. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> well, mine is going to be special. Good for you, Louise. Good for you. Now, I know this is your first time, so you mind if I give you a little tip? When it's all over, men like to cuddle, you know? You be strong. You just get right up and leave. <laughs> We're all set, buddy. Okay, food? Check. Candles? Check. Flour? Check. Condoms? Check. Check. Come on, animal. Time for sex. Nope. Louise is like our sister. That's the way I see her, and that's that. Oh. Hello, Herman. I'm entering your apartment a girl, but I'll be leaving a woman. What a sport! She's leaving a woman! Leave her by the bed, we'll get to her later! <laughs> oh, Herman, you've really fixed the place up nicely. Yeah, well, it's a very special night. I can't wait for dinner. It smells wonderful in here. Uh, yeah, actually, that's Mrs. Parisi next door. Oh, is she a good cook? No, no, that's just the way she smells. <laughs> What'd you make, Herman? Well, we'll start off with a little cheese fondue, and then some cheese souffle, and for dessert, a little cheesecake. <laughs> the truth, I'm really not very hungry. I'm too nervous to eat. So am I. So? So? Oh, hey, did you see the news tonight? No. Oh, there's a big pileup on the New Jersey Turnpike. Boy, a lot of cars, a lot of glass, a whole lot of cars. Wow. Yeah. It really makes you think. Yeah. Yeah, there was a, also a near miss over LaGuardia. You know, those guys, those guys are way too crowded. Yeah. Yeah. It really makes you think. Yeah. Well, Herman, we've covered the roads and we've covered the air. Anything going on at the harbor? <laughs> you know, well, as a matter of fact, there was a garbage scow that they can't enough, find... Enough, Herman, enough. This sex thing is going to be easy, because right now you're boring the pants off me. <laughs> this isn't working. Something's missing. What is it? Can't you see? We have no passion. We need his passion. <laughs> you know what, Louise? I feel like some wine. Can I pull you some? No, thank you. Oh, I'll just have a little. Well, okay. But I was kind of hoping my first time would last a little longer than your first time. <laughs> Louise, it already has. I'm sorry, Herman. I realize you've gone through a lot of trouble tonight, and I really appreciate it. Well, is, is there anything else I can get you? A soda? Anything? No, thank you. Okay. So shall we start? Mm, mm -hmm. No, no, you can't just start. You have to sweet talk me first. 
<laughs> Wasn't that what I was just doing? What, the pile-up on I-95? <laughs> Tell me how much you want me. Tell me how lovely I look. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. Um, Louise? Louise, you look very lovely. That's it? That's the best you can do? <laughs> All right. Why don't you tell me a charming story about the first time you laid eyes on me, you knew that someday you would have to have me. Louise, Louise. Ah, here it is. No, no, that's Tina Louise. Uh, Melman Louise. Ah, here it is. No, it's the third time we saw Louise. Good enough. Let's try and blow it past her. The, the first time I saw you, you, you were standing next to the water cooler, next to Hetty. No, Herman, that was the third time you saw me. <laughs> you don't remember, do you? I'm sorry, Louise. That's okay, I guess. Why don't you kiss me or something? <laughs> Not now, you have to ease into it. God, you're terrible at this. How'd you ever score so much? <laughs> Look, Louise, I'm going to ignore that because I know you're feeling very nervous right now. Well, you're not creating the proper mood. Well, I'm trying to help you out. Oh, don't do me any favors, Herman. I didn't ask for this. Well, I did ask for this, but I pictured it differently. I am trying my best. It's not good enough. Well, what the hell do you want from me? If I have to tell you, then what's the point? Well, then maybe we should just call it a night. That's fine with me. Oh, well, fine. 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 I guess I was wrong. I'm not leaving a woman. Figured I'd find you here. Beat it. Louise? You heard me. Hit the road, make tracks, take a short walk on a long pier. <laughs> you mean a long walk on a short pier? No, I want you to leave. I don't want you to drown or anything. <laughs> Louise, we have to talk about this. I don't want talk to you. Is this guy bothering you? Yes, he is. Louise? No, you heard the lady. Why don't you just get out of here? Look, we're old friends, okay? We just had a little fight, so you just leave us alone. Is he telling the truth? Of course not. I've never seen this man before in my life. Louise? See, my name isn't even Louise. Dulcinea. <laughs> What a coincidence. My mother's name is Dulcinea. <laughs> All right, pal, let's go. Look, I am warning you, I am in no mood for this. Oh, 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 oh you're warning me, are you? <laughs> well, come on. I, I dare you to knock this fez off my head. <laughs> hey, you, now I'm mad. <laughs> well, that's my fez. <laughs> Louise, this is ridiculous. Would you just leave me alone? Well, I've done everything I can. I don't know what your problem is. My problem is, is that you never wanted to do this, and I don't know why you agreed to it in the first place. Because you made me. How'd I make you? You were going to sleep with that guy, Lyle. Oh, yeah. So what? So I told you I was willing to sleep with you. Willing, yes. Wanting, no. I'm here, aren't I? Your body is here, but your heart isn't. You don't want me. All you want is for me not to do it with somebody else and get hurt. Well, guess what, Herman? I'm hurt. At least Lyle wanted to sleep with me. So would you just leave me alone? I said, leave me alone. Excuse me, I need to borrow your microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, I hate to interrupt your evening, but there's, there's a young woman who's sitting at the bar who doesn't want to talk to me, so this is the only way that I can let her know that I think she's very beautiful. And I just remember the first time I ever laid eyes on her. She was sitting at her desk, working, and she had a cold. And when she sneezed, somehow I knew from the way that her nose wrinkled and the way her face lit up that she was one of the most special women I would ever lay eyes on. I... I don't know how to say this, but... I want her. <laughs> she is beautiful and sexy. And I also remember the first time I ever laid eyes on her. You mean you remember when we saw her sneezing? No, the first time I ever laid eyes on her, she was bending over the file cabinet. <laughs> Can we try starting over? Yes.
I love you. Why do we fight? <laughs> Years from now, when you talk about this, and you will, be kind. You look beautiful, Louise. I bought this when I was 18. I've been saving it for this night. I hope you don't mind the smell of mothballs. Fortunately, I'm not a moth. Do you know why I changed my mind, Herman? Why? Because I remember the first time I saw you two. I did have a cold. And when I sneezed, you looked at me and you smiled. You know, Louise, when I saw you sitting there alone at the bar, I realized how much I care about you. And you're attracted to me? Yes. It's very. This is great! You see, we can get excited about someone who's nice, someone we care for. Sex with someone you care about. It's a little radical, might not work, but I'm behind it a hundred percent. How about that? What? Suddenly I don't want to do it anymore. Why, why? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Suddenly everything's all right. Just knowing you want me is enough. I don't understand. Does that mean we're not gonna... That's right, Herman. I'm letting you off the hook. Oh. Louise, I was kind of liking the hook. <laughs> You don't have to do this for me, Herman. Okay, okay. Then, would you do it for me? That's very sweet of you, Herman. <laughs> Thank you for the most wonderful night of my life. Homer Simpson saddles up with a beautiful country singer. Homer, I want you to be my man. Hi, I'm Chuck Cameron from Power 92, and Get a Life and Sunday Comics are next on Fox TV 8. Mars, right, all I did was spend the afternoon in a trailer watching her try on some outfits. <laughs> it's a honky-tonk, heartbreaking, all-new Simpsons this Thursday night. Now, stay tuned for Get a Life.